going over to the fake guy. Oh boy. <laughs> this is janky. This is janky. I don't know, man. This looks so lame. What's going on boys, it's your man Ram back again with another dope vid. In this video, we'll take a look at a real and a fake MagSafe wallet and see which are worth buying and which we should stay away from. Let's jump right into it guys. So I got two wallets right here I'm gonna show you. One of them's real and one of them's fake, right? So take a look at these two guys right here. Try not to focus on my hands because apparently I only have time to cut the nails on one hand. Take a look at the back. Final guess is get them ready in your head. Okay, this one is fake and this one is real. I'm going to ruin the surprise for you guys. The real one is a lot better, but come on. Can we just look at these two and see how hard it is to tell them apart? Like this is a good replica, man. The first major difference we can talk about is probably the biggest one and that's the price. This guy, the real one right here is going for 60 bucks on Apple's website. That's enough to think about not getting it for sure. This fake one here, this one I bought for $5, less than $5. And not only did I buy one, I bought every color that you can think of, including one that I don't even think is made on Apple's website for less than half the price of one real Apple MagSafe wallet. That alone is enough to consider if you should try one of the fake ones. I guess after this review, you can make that decision yourself. So just so you guys don't get them mixed up, I'm gonna pull the black fake one out and just switch it for this guy so you know which one's fake all the time. So going over to AliExpress really quick, I bought this black one for $3.58, two of them. I got the light orange or poppy. The brown Pacific blue, it's like a navy blue. I bought two of those, a dark green. So that's seven wallets, $34 and some change. Seven wallets for 35 bucks is five bucks a wallet. That's pretty good. Let's go over to Amazon really quick. And here's a good one that I saw. It's $18.99, got five stars. It's gonna be the exact same, except it doesn't really have the Apple logo. So if you wanna try that out, it's less than 20 bucks, less than a third of the price. Hey, that's another option instead of paying the 60 bucks for apples. So next thing, build quality and weight right here. If you look at this guy, it's kind of flimsy. Like, I mean, the back is still very firm and hard, right? Cause it has the magnets in it, just like this one. But if I'm, if I'm kind of putting my finger here and you can kind of see, right? You see where my thumbnail is and I'm doing the same thing on both of them. And it's just real thin and this one feels really nice. Look at the stitches on the real one here. Real, real nice thick stitches, a lot more of them. If you can see, and this one is just not the same. Sometimes you see some threads every here and there, just, just uh, hanging off or something and nothing too big to complain about, but this definitely is a lot more premium. The leather feels good. When you pick it up, you're gonna know right away, like this feels awesome. And it's probably about twice the weight I like a heavier feeling item it just feels it feels nice and more premium in your hand so that's what you're going to get when you get the real apple wallet so something that people might complain about is the strength of the wallet i know people are saying oh it might come off too easy this the strength of this wallet is not is not going to compare to the strength of the real apple wallet right if i put this guy on here it really snaps on into place i could pick up my phone try to shake it it's not coming off I'm not worried about this coming off or falling off accidentally. Like I'd have to really be shaking it to get this guy to fall off. This this won't even stick on if I let my hand go. It's coming off right on the fake one. It's just not even comparable to strength of the magnet. With the fake one, I don't want to knock it. I've never accidentally had this fall off. You know, you're, a, a credit card doesn't weigh a lot. It's it's a small item, so. You know, I'm not worried about it falling off, but some, some people might be. So right here I have a magnetic film sheet and all this does is just tell you where the magnets are in something, which I think is really helpful when we're looking at the fake one. So right here, looking at my phone and even this case right here, the silicone MagSafe case, let's look at the magnets in the back of these guys. And right here, like as you guys would expect, it's that MagSafe ring and a little straight magnet here and that's kind of just like a placeholder right to keep it in place so that it clicks in and it doesn't keep rotating around this ring 
And as you can guess, look at how the real Apple wallet looks. Right, identical, and that's why it fits so well with the phone and these accessories. And I think Apple made it <laughs> hard to duplicate on purpose. So going over to the fake guy, oh boy. <laughs> this is janky, this is janky. I don't know, man. When I pulled this out and looked, I was like, oh, this looks so lame. This looks so lame. Like, that's obviously why the strength of this isn't as good. Obviously why you don't get a little, like, animation when you put this thing on. So obviously why it doesn't click into place here, right? Like, it just, it just keeps rotating around. Not that, like, you're ever accidentally gonna, like, oh no, I put it, right? But it's just nice to know that it's it's like perfect fit every time. When I put the real one on, it really, it locks in. I would never worry about this falling off my phone. The most important thing, right, is that your credit cards don't fall out. So I got three cards. Apple says it's a three card wallet. So listen to them. Listen to Apple, guys. It's meant for three cards. So let's go with the fake one first. So if I have one card in here, I wouldn't guarantee on it staying in. Let's see with two cards. Okay. Two cards. Same type of thing, a little better. Three cards. Three cards. That's what it's made for, right? Three cards. Okay. Well, that's definitely not coming out, right? But now it's going to be really hard to get these cards out. Right? They're like really packed in here. So it's like it works because it's so tight right, if you pack three cards in here, but then it's gonna be really difficult to get out, and, you know, that's a whole problem in its own, you know, when you're up at the register, you wanna get this card out quick, like, everyone's waiting on you, right, and it's gonna be, like, real tight in there. So, what's cool about the Apple Wallet, right, there is a little clip in here that holds your card snug against the front of the wallet, the part that's away from your phone, right? So, if I have one card in here, just one lonesome little card, you could see there's like a lot of space in there. Like it's not touching the back of the wallet, right? There's space. This thing still won't come out. It will not come out. Just shaking it, right? Because there's a little clamp in here holding it in, right? But then to try to take it out with my thumb here, it comes out so easy and it won't come out accidentally, which I think is the most important part of the wallet because you don't want to lose your card. Right here, same thing with two cards my very scientific shake test won't come out but look how easy it comes out i love that three cards which is you know what they say pro tip keep your keep your credit card on the back right that's the one you want first obviously it's not coming out there's there's more in it now right easily comes out so i love this um i think that alone is just worth going the extra distance for this because of the convenience and security of being able to pull your cards out really easily, really quickly, and know that you're never gonna lose them or they're gonna fall out somewhere. And one more little feature, which you know doesn't really matter, but I think is cool, the real case right here, if I just get it close, I'm not even actually gonna put it on, right? The animation comes up that it is a black MagSafe case. And when the black MagSafe wallet comes on, same thing, right? It shows that animation that it's like, oh, well, I I mean, it doesn't really matter, but I think that's so cool. And this one just like, you know, part of it is just the experience, you know, the coolness of it. Like, I, I just love using it. And this one just doesn't do that for you. Nothing. Final question, is it worth it? The real one? Yes. You buy it once and you're gonna be happy with it. Obviously, it's a good chunk of money. 60 bucks isn't cheap, but you're gonna love it. You're not gonna go back. And it's so awesome to leave your fat wallet in the car and only bring like two, three cards. I usually just have my ID and my credit card in here and maybe one other card in particular. It's like nothing, it's just part of my phone. I don't even know it's there. You're gonna be happy with it. It feels really good, works really good, and that's why you get it. You pay more because it does more. It's, it's the best and it feels the best. Is this worth it, the fake one? Everything being said, I'm gonna say yes. I paid $5 for this and I was super happy with it the whole time. You know, like I said, if you pack three in here, they're not falling out. It is a little more effort to get them out and it's gonna stay on the back of your phone. I think it worked really well and I really like this. And for five bucks, who cares? Like, just buy it.
and you can get any color you want. So is it worth it? Yes. Is it anywhere as good as the real one? No. That's all I got for you guys today. If you want to see another video of me comparing some fake Apple Watch bands with some real ones, click here. Right here. I don't know if this works because I've never done this, but there should be a floating video right here. Click that if you want to watch that. Thanks, guys.